Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here then welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, it really means the world to me. So Disney Dreamlight Valley revealed the little developer update yesterday. Sorry that I couldn't get anything up yesterday, my dad was actually rushed into hospital um, yesterday morning so I couldn't get any content up but don't worry, he is home and he is recovering. But oh my goodness, I called it. I said maybe that they'll do another little showcase kind of video. I love these, but wow, so much stuff is happening with this update and I cannot wait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into like little separate videos so that all of the new information is separate so you know which videos that you would like to know a little bit more about, if that makes any sense. I'm tired, I'm sorry. So today's video, we're going to be talking all about the adorable Daisy Duck and what she's going to be bringing to the valley. So first up, let's take a little look at her house and herself because this house is just adorable and she just looks absolutely fabulous. She looks sassy as anything, but I love her. I have no idea where I'm going to put this house. It just... Is so vibrant and colourful. I'm going to have to kind of find somewhere in my valley for her. But honestly, I love it. I cannot wait to interact with Daisy. So what is she going to be bringing to the valley? Well, once we have unlocked Daisy, we will then be able to unlock the boutique. This is a new building that we can now showcase our Touch of Magic designs. So this is the one that they teased on April Fool's. And we didn't know whether it was a touch of magic. I mean, we had an inkling that it was. But this is actually called a boutique. So this is where we showcase all of our touch of magic items, including furniture. No news yet on whether we can share our designs far and wide or whether it is just locked to Valley Visits. At the time of recording this video, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And it is just going to be those that are on the Valley Visits. As they did say that your friends can collect designs during valley visits. This isn't the only thing that is coming with the boutique and Daisy. Within the boutique, we can complete weekly design challenges with Daisy. By doing this, it will unlock exclusive boutique items. Things like new Touch of Magic items, which seems to be super cool. And I really do like some of these that were showcased in the video. So no rewards of such as moonstones or anything like that. It is just going to be new touch of magic items. And honestly, I can't wait. So I better start practicing my skills because at the moment it's zero. So I need to get practicing. But the boutique does look so cool. But I was hoping it would be a little bit more colorful, especially since Daisy is running it. I'm hoping we can maybe change this and customize the inside maybe, but I doubt it. But the boutique does look like it's got furniture in there and we can do our clothes. So it's going to be the touch of magic for the clothes and the furniture. But honestly, I am really looking forward to this. What do you think to Daisy and her house? And what do you think about the boutique? Do you like it? Are you looking forward to it? Or is it something that you're not really going to use? We now know the release date as well. So mark your calendars. May the 1st, which is next Wednesday, is when she will be coming to the valley and the boutique will come with her. And I am counting down the days. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for Daisy. And obviously, let's have a discussion about this new boutique. If you have liked this video, please do give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you all in my next video. Have the most wonderful rest of your day, guys. Bye.